The family of slain mining magnate Brett Kebble has rubbished claims that he died in an assisted suicide. It's a reason advanced by one of the men accused of Kebble's murder. Glenn Aliotti claims in court papers that Kebble wanted to die and that he helped him commit suicide. <laughs> Did Brett Kebble plan his own death? It, it can't have been an assisted suicide. Because why would Brett fall on his sword for a group of other people as well? Alleged crime boss Glenn Aliotti has submitted an affidavit in court admitting he helped plan the so-called assisted suicide. If you're that close to the parents or the family of the person that's asking you to assist with the suicide, you know, isn't friendship more important than money? Or honor. Aliotti was constantly at Kebble's father's side at the funeral. Agliotti running around crying, you know, in, in front of me and, uh, you know, showing this total remorse. While Aliotti has admitted to playing some sort of role in an assisted suicide, he will not necessarily plead guilty to murder when the case goes to trial in 2008. Legal experts agree that it's very likely a case of assisted suicide will be treated as a murder case and if the state secures a conviction, the penalties will be the same. But what about Kebble's life insurance? Well, his beneficiaries have already been paid out 30 million rand. Annika Larsen, E-News, Cape Town. In news